Dakin Bakers and welcome to Thursday. I've got to think what day is. Thursday. So today I'm going to make some asparagus soup because it's a bank holiday tomorrow and um, if I get the lunch ready now then I haven't got to worry about it tomorrow. So earlier in the week I said that I'd made um, chicken breast stuffed with asparagus tips and mozzarella. So these are the stalks that are left. I don't like to waste anything, so I'm going to turn the stalks into some soup. So first of all, let's chop up the onion. I've just come away from a two hour video session with Rebecca Clinch. I put a photo up of her just before she started cooking. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling a little frazzled, but I have got two beers in the freezer. Fridge even, see, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Two beers in the fridge. So when this is all over, I'm going to sit in the garden and have a nice beer. And I'll still be on over time, I think. Right, okay. So we're going to put this in here. And to that, we're going to add a little bit of butter. Not with the onion knife, though, because I might want to use that butter on my toast in the morning. And that wouldn't be so good, would it? So... A little bit of butter. We'll put that on the heat with some oil. So this is the first time filming with the new phone. So hopefully it, it may be a better picture or a clearer picture. I, I don't know. I'll we'll find out later. Um, had a bit of a nightmare setting it up, but luckily. Alison was on hand to help, so at least I um, got it sorted in the end. But it was a classic thing where it wouldn't um, load any of my apps and I didn't understand why. And I phoned her on the home phone because I was, I was getting to the point where I was going to throw it out the window. And she said the classic thing that all these computer geeks say. She said, have you tried switching it on and off? And I said, well, no. She said, well, try switching it off. Wait a couple of minutes and then switch it back on again and see what happens. And do you know what? It worked. So perhaps when she isn't at level best, she could become a phone engineer. <laughs> so here we are. We're going to cut all the asparagus up. So we're not going to blitz this soup. So I'm going to cut the asparagus nice and small. Lovely day out there today. I can hear people having barbecues. <laughs> Um, and sunbathing, so you never know, I might get my bikini on later. <laughs> Don't want to frighten the neighbours too much. I have got a very nice hammock, but I think I might get out at the weekend. No, my luck, it would be cold and horrible over the weekend. That's what usually happens when I have time off. Here comes Bertie. Hello, Bertie. When it's nice like this, he's out in the garden all day. He likes to sunbathe. There we are. So there's all the asparagus cut up. Right, so we're just softening the onions. Can't eat those dogs. He likes to eat anything that I drop, don't you? But you can't have any of that. It's all gone in the saucepan. Okay, so we're frying that down. There we are. Put that back in the fridge. Give me a second. So yes, it's nice seeing inside all your kitchens. I've seen quite a few this week. I've seen a farmhouse kitchen on Monday. Um, I've seen Dean's kitchen, that was yesterday. Um, I'm gonna be seeing Kiriakis. Um, who else have I seen today, this week? Jamie's, I've seen Jamie's kitchen. And this week I was balanced on the cat basket. 
and that seems to be where I can get the best view of Jamie cooking if I'm balanced on the cat basket. So that was a, a good place to be this week. Daniel Lewis, I've seen inside his house, inside his kitchen. And I have to say, for those of you who know Daniel Lewis, he has a very, very tidy kitchen. And also Mr. Waller gave me a tour of his house. It's got a nice shower and a nice bedroom. And Simon did this omelette. Wow. And that was, for Simon, that was really, really good. And then I saw this morning, I think, with Connie, he might have made a toasted fish finger sandwich. So I do like a fish finger sandwich. And when I suggested it to him this week, he went, oh, no. But that was obviously because he was already making it with Connie. So, but yes, Simon, I'll come round for a fish finger sandwich, definitely. So we're going to put a little bit of flour, about a tablespoon, That a good stir. And then to that we're going to add a vegetable stock cube. So once you've made one sort of soup, most of them are the same sort of technique. So this will probably be the last soup I, I show you. Not unless I do something very different like this uh, gazpacho or something like that. But most of the hot soups we have are very similar. You start start by frying off your onion and your other ingredients. Add a bit of flour if you want to thicken it and then add your stock. And then you either blend them or keep them with bits in. So on the whole, they're mostly the same method. So this will probably be the last type of soup I make like this with you. So there we are, we've got, that's all cooked out. So I'm gonna add a little bit of milk because Asparagus soup, we want it to be a bit creamy. And I don't actually have any cream, so that will have to do. And then I'm going to put some water in it. And then what I'll do is I'll put it on the hot one to bring it up to the boil. Get very thick with this cooker, up and down, up and down. I was told when I first had one that you mustn't leave the lids up. If you leave the lids up, then it gets quite, the temperature drops. So as soon as I come off it, I have to put the lid down. So we've got a little bit of salt in there and a grind of pepper. And there we are, that's gonna come up to the boil. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that simmer about 15 minutes and then we'll have nice soup for lunch tomorrow. Um, and before you go, just another thing I'm gonna do, but I won't, I won't do it. I'll just show you, I'm gonna feed my starter and then I'm gonna make a loaf of sourdough bread later. So that's my next job once you've all gone, before I have my beer. Okay then, Dakin Bakers, I will see you next week because it's a bank holiday. I'll try and put up a few videos over the weekend but they might be ones that I've already made and got in reserve. So if you don't see me face to face, don't be surprised. Okay, enjoy Easter. And remember, don't eat too many Easter eggs. Bye.